Well, the Winter Olympics may be over this year, but the team spirit was kept alive over the weekend on Gull Lake with a different kind of Olympics. For this week's Community Spotlight, Sarah Winkleman takes us to the Frozen Four and shows us their newest event. The 13th annual Frozen Four had the typical stops around Gull Lake, but this year with an Olympic theme. Keeping the competitive spirit alive, a brand new event took place on Saturday afternoon. Hosted by the Pequot Lakes Brush Pilots, snowmobile drag races were the sight to see. And we've been doing radar runs and it hasn't been working out, so we thought we'd give this a try. Unlike radar runs, the snow drag races don't require any special equipment and anyone can participate. It's awesome first year for this, it's really good. I, I've got great snow today. I just love this. This is something that everybody should experience and go and do. There were nearly 90 racers that took to the track over the weekend in 15 different class categories. We're just so blessed to have that as a part of it and they're giving back to the community as well. So it's just win-win for everybody. And in order to win the race, you just had to be the first to cross the line. Most guys, we might be 75, 80 miles an hour, but it's who gets there first. That's yeah. what counts. As racers head down the 550 foot long track. It'll boil down to reaction time and traction they got along the way. On a snow covered Gull Lake. In the winter, we're really based on weather in our area, so to be able to pump some stuff back into the community and work together, it's just, it's fun to watch it grow every single year. For a fundraising event that gives to Confidence Learning Center and the Kids Against Hunger. I think the event was a success for the first year, so hopefully we can put it together next year, it'll be a bigger and better thing. For this week's Community Spotlight, in Brainerd, Sarah Winkleman, Lakeland News. The total numbers are not in yet, but just one day of the three-day event, the group raised over $24,000. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.